So, in the past five to six years, since I started to practice this self-awareness process and I've started, started to do this self-awareness process I started to remember more and more about I could call it the true nature of things so at first everything seemed scattered and it felt like so many pieces of information were coming from many different aspects of this reality and I was seeing a bit of peace here and a piece of bit of peace there and I was understanding a bit of my some of my aspects here and some of my aspects there and I think for the last five to six years my main focus was on kind of establishing this stable connection, let's say, with this true sense of perception. So in the last five to six years, my main interests were to understand the basics of how reality works. For some reason, when I started, what, what, what I found myself interested, even since I was a child, was to understand how my psyche is working, how my mind is working, and how my mind influences the reality around me. So my main interest after I started to practice this self-awareness and to gain this true sense of perception back in the last five to six years was mainly to understand, to further understand and to further clarify this understanding of the basis of reality. How rea does reality work at its core levels? What are the base core principles of existence? And how do they function together and how do they create our entire reality? This was my main, under my, my main focus, is to understand the principles of existence. I didn't care about the history of Earth, I didn't care about, I don't know, uh, like ancient Egypt, Atlantis, and like I was, in the meantime, I was always open and curious and I was reading almost everything, I think, that was being uh, said of about this like more esoteric topics or fringe topics or conspiracies or, or whatever like I was taking those in as well but that was that wasn't my main focus my main focus wasn't to understand what happened with Lemuria or Atlantis or <laughs> it still isn't by the way uh, but my main interest was to understand okay how does this reality works? Because I, I in, innately felt like there is something terribly wrong happening with us, within the entire humanity. There is, there is something terribly wrong happening here. And we need to figure out where is this wrongness coming from. We need to, to go at the root of it. Like We need to go to the deepest of the deepest levels that we can and see exactly where it originates and why. And after five or six years of mainly focusing on this, I think right now it started to become more and more clear, this part of myself. I kind of understood the principles of existence, like a, like a, let's say, maybe not in complete detail, but I have a sort of like, kind of, I, I believe it to be a kind of clear image of overall image. So I had to, basically invest all this energy and all this time which came natural for me by the way it was all everything that i felt to do to to look at like over and over again to look at okay wait what creates reality 
okay, wait, how does our mind work? Okay, wait, how does reality work? Because in order to understand where is this malfunctioning or, or madness of this world coming from, I felt like I had to go to the core of the core levels and understand the core levels and see where exactly does it originate and why it originates and what's its purpose. Anyway, so after after five or six years of, of mainly staying with uh, on those levels of like pure awareness and mostly like what I would call it now like the spiritual senses of perception and the spiritual sense um, after looking deeply into those levels and understanding basically how reality kind of is constructed and the base core dynamics behind it I kind of s saw myself since the beginning of this year 2023 since mainly April April this year I kind of saw myself some 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 shift not some shift because I went through some event in April um, which made it so that I kind of felt like I went beyond a really core fear that was existing within me. So I went and I stayed in some wild mountain area by myself one night and it was really, really intense that night in April for me. And I had all sorts of like fear, like it's such intense fear that went on in that night. I couldn't sleep. And after like I allowed to fear the, to feel the fear and to go as deep. And I went so deep, so deep, so deep into that fear that I kind of understood, oh my God, I kind of understood where it originates. I kind of understood a truth that gave me a sort of like kind of overall perspective of okay what is actually truly happening with this reality with our psyche with our minds why are we seeing things distorted why everything is the way it is so since april this year my main focus started to change a bit I wasn't like I was started to be more and more focused on understanding the true what I would call now the true story of our humanity and understanding what exactly is the scope and the role and the goal of humanity why do we exist as a human being on this earth? So I have been recording videos which I haven't published because I was recording them, I was feeling them, I was feeling the truth behind them but I somehow I just felt like it was... I, ha I felt like... Mm, what if this is not completely correct? What if I have to look at more at this? And I allowed time to look more and more and more. But I was still recording things, but I wasn't publishing them. Because I wanted to, to kind of be more sure about some of these aspects before publishing. Now, what I felt sure about and what feels like a core understanding that I feel to highlight even in this video right now is the core understanding be behind the two main core principles of existence which is the soul and the spirit I've called it the soul and the spirit and I've created a video about this which is called the masculine and the feminine and in that video I feel there is kind of a cohesive and coherent understanding about these two core principles which represent the base dynamic of what creates our entire existence. 
it's this principle of the feminine energy and the masculine energy. The feminine energy being the soul, the masculine energy being the spirit. And there are two aspects to the soul, which can, to, to this feminine energy, which can be the pure or unpure feminine energy. And the masculine energy can be the pure and unpure masculine energy as well. So there is this four, actually, four main principles or elements of existence. And I think from this understanding, which is uh, detailed in this video with the masculine and the feminine, which is already published, came later on, from April on, came a much more coherent and cohesive understanding about our humanity and what is our role as human beings and why do we, what is, what is our life and what does it represent and why it is the way it is and why it is dysfunctional and why we can't make sense out of it. And by the way, as I started to record this new type of videos since April 2023, this understanding of our humanity and what happens, what's, what's the true, actual goal and overall story of humanity is, is still under the process of being understood so i'm still looking at it like this understanding it's not final i'm still looking at it i'm still uncovering it and by the way i have to mention that i'm using self observation to and self let's say i don't know how to call it like internal knowledge to study this thing so it takes time because this is this was my way of understanding things. I had to go internally and figure things out by using this internal knowledge because for some reason it just felt like like if I'm going outside, there's all this nonsensical knowledge, like all these writings and all these things that have been published published by humanity since the beginning of time, and they were all feeling like me messed up there were bits and pieces of truth here and there but it just for me it felt like I would need lifetimes to sort that out and I felt like if I go in within myself even if it takes a lot of effort and time I can figure this out more clearly so even though I started to record this new vid type of videos about our true human story since April 2023 uh, this understanding is still unfolding so I'm not still I'm, I don't feel like I'm seeing this this human story with the the most with like in its clear details but I think I've started to see some details and now I feel like starting to publish this new type of videos that I was recording since April until now. And <laughs> this will also be said in the next videos, I think. It's like we need to, we need to be able to activate and return to this true sense of perception. If we, if we As we manage to stay more and more in this, this true sense of perception, many of us can start to remember. Many of us can access this true knowledge. And many of us have different accesses to different pieces of the puzzle. Like what I can see, I can see it from my perspective. But what another being can see, can see some other pieces of the puzzle, true pieces as well, but from its perspective. So it's like, the best source of knowledge is internal knowledge, in my opinion. And to access this internal knowledge, we, we just need to practice this state of 
pure awareness and resting with a quiet mind and just looking at things with this open and quiet and clear mind as if it, it would be free of any ideology and free of any thought and any belief. We just look at things. And this is how internal knowledge and true knowledge, which by the way, I don't even see it as internal knowledge. I just see it as true knowledge, which doesn't exist within me or outside of me, it just is. This true knowledge starts unfolding. So the best way to verify a source of information or any type of knowledge is to look and verify it, find it within yourself. Use your true sense of perception to see if a thing is true or not. The first video, the first new video that I think I, I'm going to publish and start this new series of videos with. It's a video that was recorded in March of this year, meaning 2023. And it, it is a video which is titled What is happening to humanity? And I, I also thought of creating a new playlist uh, in which all these videos will be coming under this playlist so they are easy to be find, found. No! Don't do that! What the heck are you doing? <laughs> Jesus Christ! What would you fudge? Jesus Christ! He just pissed on the freaking. <laughs> yeah, sure, you did it. Like, I freaking <laughs> gathered some garbages from around this place in a bag, and he, the dog just pissed on the bag. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. Ah. <sighs> Okay, let me see if uh, I didn't want to add anything else. Yeah, I need to add before ending that we are all here in this story and life itself holds much more value and much more meaning than what appears at first. And currently we are not seeing this meaning. We are not seeing things as they are. Our mind is blind and our true sense of perception is numb. And we think there is just randomness. And we might think, I mean, that is, this is just randomness. And, that, and nothing has meaning. But actually, everything has so much meaning and our life is so important and everyone together, there is so much to this story. Like we are to do something together. We are to achieve something together. And as the next videos will unfold, the true spiritual path, as I started to understand it, it's a together path. And it's there is something extremely valuable to this life right now, even though it seems so disastrous, so painful, even though it seems so much misery, and it is so much misery everywhere and insanity everywhere. There is a lot of value to this, but we need to start paying true attention to things. We need to start paying true attention to things. And the true spiritual path is a together path. And some of us, and many of us, have really serious things to do here. And we need to start awakening, but not in that spiritual awakening sense, but in a true sense. We need to start 
slapping our faces. And we need to start to truly wake up to the responsibility, the work, and what we have to do here. Because this life is far from being random. And our experience here is far from being random. Spirit is far from being stupid, let's say. If spirit is here in this physical body, it had a reason, it has a purpose. Spirit always has a purpose, it always, always has a vision. Spirit is the most intelligent thing in existence. If spirit is here in this body, it has a purpose. So we need to freaking wake up. But in the sense of opening the eyes, calming down, and starting to take this seriously, starting to take this life seriously, starting to take this experience seriously. So here it is, this is it. Uh, the next series of videos will mainly focus on this understanding of our true human story. This is what has started to unfold with more and more clarity for me. And I shall start uploading and publishing these videos that were recorded since March to August this year.